Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome go fish activity page for your little one. Let me show you what it looks like. Here's what it's gonna look like once you finish. Super cute, eight little sea creatures and a magnetic fishing pole. Okay, so stay tuned and enjoy putting this together. Thanks. Okay guys, so first thing you're gonna do is head over to my website. The link is in the description and you can print off the go fish template. It is free and get all of those shapes cut out. Okay guys, I just finished cutting out all of my pieces. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace them onto the felt that I have and cut out the traced pieces. As always, make sure you cut out the number of copies that it says on the piece. So if it says two, that means you need two copies of this guy. If there is nothing written on the piece, then you just need one copy. So go ahead and trace those out and cut them. Okay guys, I have got all of my pieces cut out and the next thing we're going to do is glue all of these sea creatures together. However, what you need to get is some sort of piece of metal. I have these little metal pins. You could use an old necklace metal chain if you want to. Anything that you can glue inside of these sea creatures and just leave a little piece of metal poking out because your fishing pole is going to be magnetic. It's gonna have a little magnet inside of it, and so that's how it's gonna to attach to the fish when your child is going fishing. So use whatever you have at home. If you don't have anything metal at all, you can just forget about the magnet and the metal pins, and you could use little Velcro dots if you want to, or something else to attach the fish to the, to the um, fishing rod. I'm going to go ahead and use these magnetic pins. Okay, I'm just going to show you a quick close up of what they look like once they've been glued together. You can see that there is a little metal pin, a little metal piece poking out of each sea creature. Okay, and you need a little piece to be poking out so that the magnetic fishing pole will attach. You'll see with the turtle, I just put the little metal pin here, just glued it right underneath his shell. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out some green circles to put on my turtle shell, and I'm also gonna cut out some little black stripes to put on this white fish here. I think this is called an angel fish and they have black stripes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out now. Okay, that finishes the sea creatures. The only other thing I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna glue on some small googly eyes onto each of them. If you don't have any googly eyes, just go ahead and use a marker and draw two small dots on each sea creature. The next thing we're gonna do is you can take the blue pieces, you should have three of them, and I'm gonna glue them onto my page. I'm choosing a yellow background, as always, it's 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just glue the edges onto the background, and I'm gonna layer the waves. Don't glue the wave part, because these are gonna act as pockets to store these sea creatures when not in use. Another little tip, Start with the top wave first, glue that first, and then you can glue on the next wave below it and the third wave below it. And leave a little bit of room at the bottom because that's where we are gonna glue the sand on. Okay, this is what it looks like with all the waves glued on. You can see that it has that three pockets there along with the sand at the bottom. The next thing I'm gonna take my coral wreath and just glue the bottom. Um, and I'm also gonna cut out some squiggly seaweed looking plant and I'm gonna glue that on the bottom as well. 
okay and that's what the page looks like <clears throat> so the last thing we need to do is make the fishing rod that's what these two circle pieces are for um, you also need some sort of string I have a suede cord you can use a small rope or a ribbon if you have ribbon okay I also like to use a popsicle stick just because it helps keep this the fishing rod stiff so I'm going to glue the popsicle stick inside that fishing rod or inside that piece of felt and then I'm going to glue one end of my suede cord onto the popsicle stick and then I'm going to finish it off by gluing the other side completely over that popsicle stick. Okay, there's my fishing rod. Now at the other end of the fishing rod, I have a small magnet here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, and you're going to glue that inside of two little circle pieces of felt. You can choose whatever color you want. And you're also going to glue the other end of the line into that those two pieces of felt as well. So you're going to glue both your magnet and that fishing line into the two pieces of felt. Okay, so here's my fishing rod. I forgot I actually wanted to add these little um, letter beads for the child who I'm making it for. I just wanted to put their name on the fishing rod. So if you have those at home, you can do that too. But that's what it should look like when you're done. And then because that little end has that magnet inside of it, when you go to catch the fish, okay, it will stick on to that metal piece that was sticking out. Okay guys, here is the final page. It turned out so cute. And what your children can do is go ahead and go fishing. With that little magnet in there, it should clasp onto the metal pieces of the fish. And then as they catch them, or when they're not playing with the game, everything can be stored inside the little pocket waves. I hope they enjoyed playing with it. I hope you enjoyed making it. Make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how they like it. If you have any other ideas, please let me know and I'd be happy to make a template for it. Thanks guys.